Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Arctic Bird Giant. You remember last time, Clutch Cargo and company started across the frozen North Country by dog sled. A deafening roar developed. Looking up, they saw tons of snow and ice tumbling down upon them. Wow, if it wasn't for that rock ledge, we'd be goners. I wonder if that avalanche was an accident or on purpose. Well, can't let a little thing like an avalanche stop us. Mush! Look, Clutch, somebody's sitting on the snow up there. I'll ski on ahead and ask him if he's seen Captain Low Tide. Oh, pardon me, sir. Have you seen... Whoops. Pardon me, sir. What did he say, Spinner? What did he say? Mm. He didn't know. Everybody stay close now. We're here. Look, there's a ship. Ah! Harpoon. Look, Snowshoe's got a gun. Oh, don't worry. Captain Low Tide give me this for signal. That you, Snowshoe? Ooga-looga, Captain. I bring friends of yours. Clutch Cargo, Little Spinner, and City Dog Paddlefoot. Thought you'd never get here. Hurry aboard. There's no time left. We're coming, Captain Low Tide. Lower the ladder. Clutch boy. I was never so happy to see anyone in my life. Oh, if only you could have gotten here sooner. There now, Captain. Don't give up. Well, I'm not giving up. Though I must admit my friendly penguin, Tuxedo, and I have just about had it. Tuxedo and Snowshoe are certainly a comfort to me. And Tuxedo, <laughs> he's my guard. It's that bird giant clutch. Little by little, my cargo of precious gold and valuable furs has been stolen. And whenever anything has disappeared, the snow around here has been covered with bird tracks. Giant bird tracks. Bird tracks? Giant bird tracks? Oh, me much afraid. Steady, Snowshoe. Don't go to pieces now. We need you, boy. I will try. Clutch cargo. I've got an idea for a trap. We'll catch that bird giant tonight, and he'll never bother you and Captain Low Tide again. Ooga -looga. Well, first, we'll, we'll place this cargo net and we'll swing it over the railing in front of the ladder. Now, I'll hop over the side of your ship, and there. The net's flat on the ground, and I'll just cover it with snow. There isn't a man or beast who'll get past that without setting off the alarm. Well, let's not stand around here and freeze. Come on into my cabin for a rest. I'll take the upper bunk, Clutch. You sleep down here. The boys can have the hammock. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they already got the idea. The bird giant! We've got him! We've got the bird giant! How will Clutch and Company deal with the dangerous bird giant? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo.